This was me just before this class started. I had absolutely zero interest in podcasting. I thought all podcasters were pretentious self-help gurus who interview bloggers about their keys to success. Seriously, I thought that's all it was. I took the class because I believe strongly in pushing myself outside of my comfort zone, and I had an inkling that it might give me some skills that were helpful with my future goals. In all honesty, the capabilities I'm walking away with in design thinking and content creation are priceless. I'll be honest though, one thing this class never was for me was straightforward or easy. I came up with my pitch a little late in the game, and with no teammates on board, I truly started at the bottom. Luckily, two super talented, hardworking people volunteered to help, and without them, this podcast never would have happened. But we were playing catch up from the get-go, and producing a format that required a huge amount of talent acquisition and management. This part of our content really stretched me because I despise asking people for favors. Uh, but in today's workplace, collaboration really is key and I needed to change my approach. As I started asking people to help by submitting essays and feedback, I learned how to tailor what we needed to benefit them as well. I looked at people's priorities and figured out how to turn our podcast into a win-win for them and for us. For example, I joined an international travel bloggers Facebook community and asked people there to contribute their stories. I targeted this group because I understood that writers were looking for exposure and affirmation that their writing was good. What, without, let's see, for, yeah, without realizing it, I was using the first few steps of design thinking. I was empathizing with people's priorities, defining what they wanted, and coming up with a proposal that they actually wanted to be a part of. The response I got from this community was so encouraging. For example, one author messaged me within a few hours of my initial post and volunteered not one, not two, but seven of his essays for us to use. This is the kind of enthusiasm that I was looking for and learned to tap into to make this collaborative effort truly a success. This was also the enthusiasm I tried to tap into when I got up at 3 a.m. to interview this author all the way from Nanjing, China via Skype. Although we weren't able to produce episodes for all the people that were willing to submit essays, it was cool to see the number of people from across the world that were willing to collaborate with us. We hit a few other snags along the journey, including this time that our recording failed to save properly. When you involve a lot of outside talent, it can be difficult logistically and embarrassing to have to ask people to come back in and re-record because you made a mistake. But it was a good opportunity for us to identify what we could do better with a second chance. After this experience, our team communication really became more streamlined as we leaned into what people were good at and double-checked work quality. We established a really efficient team with a workflow that had organized repeatable steps for success. The part of design thinking that was the most difficult for me was testing through social proof. I'm a naturally shy person, but I've learned from my business classes that you can't be shy about promoting an idea, and I've learned from writing English papers that feedback can be really helpful and not as scary as you think. One of the first ways we tested our ideas was in this class by asking people what they thought of our different logos. Natalia took point on designing these logos, and even though this is a small scale example, asking for social proof here really did improve the design of our logo over time. On a larger scale, we created social media accounts uh, to generate social proof among other things. I created a Twitter account for the first time in my life, such a rush, <laughs> and as we posted new episodes each week, it was really fun to see people commenting about the things that they liked. I also asked for feedback from that World Travelers blogging group by posting this message. And even though nobody emailed us with feedback, I have a neighbor who graduated from BYU in broadcast journalism who actually saw the post and then came by my house to give me some praise and constructive criticism about what we could do better. Uh, the author from China we worked with also saw the post and messaged me about with some feedback about his episode. Unfortunately, he wasn't very happy with our less than perfect American pronunciation of some African words, but hey, feedback is feedback. I'll spare you that screenshot. <laughs> Another thing I think we could have capitalized on better or maximized was the use of our blog. Going forward, if I were to start a project like this again, I would definitely get the blog up and running quicker and start producing web content at the same time that we did podcasting, um, just to keep things consistent that way. Definitely the most rewarding part of this process was seeing our distribution spread across all the different available podcasting platforms. Um, but the key was not to get distracted by the success and recognize that part of the design thinking process is its cyclical nature. We're supposed to ideate, prototype, and test over and over again. While the three of us will not be able to continue this podcast going forward, I'm confident that podcasting is something that I will return to. I have pitch ideas for several more coming, and I really see it as a medium of the future. Thank you to my mom or whoever, whichever classmate wrote this really nice review. 
Journeys wasn't a perfect podcast, but it was experiential. And through this experience, I've developed stronger project management skills, become a more efficient teammate, and strengthened my network and added to my portfolio. But most significantly for me, design thinking has become a part of how I approach every project and work assignment. Thank you.